today on the table, I've got Hipster Dice by Steve Jackson and designed by Samuel Michke. Hipster Dice is a party game for three or more players. Um, and because of the nature of the game, I'm not going to actually be able to play it. But I will run through the rules and the component of the game. The component is one die. I mean, it has rules, but it has one die. Now, hipster die only comes, or hipster dice only comes with one die, but that's not all you're going to need to play the game. You're going to need tokens of some way to track your hipster cred, and the rules suggest you use coins or mustache combs or copy stirs. Anything basically is going to work. Uh, you're going to need friends to play it with because what's the purpose of playing a game if you don't have friends? And you're going to need a device that can connect to the internet because you're going to need to look things up. I'll explain that in a minute. The purpose of this game is to roll a die to come up with a category and then you come up with some obscure reference based on the category that you roll in order to gain hipster cred. First person to five hipster cred is going to win. So you're going to roll a die to pick your cred, uh, to pick your category. So we have the treble clef, which is music your friends probably haven't heard of. Then you're going to have the coffee mug, which is drinks your friends probably haven't tried and the places they haven't gone to drink them. Next is the letter A, which is literature your friends probably haven't heard of, let alone read. Next is the moustache, which is fashion that isn't too commercial. Then we have the movie camera, which are movies your friends probably haven't seen. And finally, the cheese wedge, which is food that's organic and locally sourced or otherwise out of the mainstream and the places you find it. So on your turn, you take your die and you roll it. So I've come up with the letter A, which is literature that your friends probably haven't heard of, let alone read. So you'd come up with something like, have you heard of that collaboration between Adams and Faulkner, the uh, sci-fi American gothic tale set in the 1930s? If nobody challenges you, then you'll take one hipster cred token from the center. And then take the die and give it to the person on the left. If, however, someone does challenge you, it's now time to go to the internet. If someone challenge you, challenges you and calls you a poser, it's now time to prove that you know what you're talking about. So you have two minutes to go online and find the example of the category that you just named. If you're able to do that, you get two hipster cred from the center of the, tile, uh, center of the table. If, however, you are unable to find it or you were just plain lying, you have to give one of your hipster creds to the first person who challenged you in case there's multiple challenges. So that's all there is to hipster dice. You just roll your dice to come up with your category. You come up with some obscure reference based on that category. If no one challenges you, you get one hipster cred from the center of the table. If someone challenges you, you have two minutes to find proof of your claim. Uh, if you're able to find it, you get two hipster cred from the middle of the table. If you're unable to do it, the first person who challenges you in case of multiple challenges gets to take one of yours, uh, one of your hipster cred. If you don't have any yet, then they get to take one from the center of the table. And that's so it. that's it. Go up, get the, go out and get the dice. Find some friends. And show how hip you are.